For this problem, we want to find the Taylor series of the function f of x equals 1 over x centered around the point a equals 3. There are a few ways to approach this, but what we'll use here is to compute the derivatives of this function to find the pattern and then use that to give us an expression for this series. So for a Taylor series centered around 3, this is given by the following expression. Our function equals the Taylor series, n from 0 to infinity. We take the nth derivative of the function, we plug in our value here, in this case 3, divide that by n factorial, and that gets multiplied by x minus our value here of 3 to the nth power. So the thing we have to determine here is this term here up front. We want to figure out what that is in terms of n, so we can put that into the series to get our value from there. So our function here is 1 over x, so f of x is 1 over x, or x to the minus 1, and f plugging in 3 is 3 to the minus 1. We can take the first derivative, f prime of x is going to be negative 1 times x to the minus 2, and f prime plugging in 3 will be negative 1 times 3 to the minus 2. We want to keep going to find a pattern here. f double prime will be negative 2 times negative 1 times x to the minus 3, or just 2 times 1 times x to the minus 3. At double prime at 3 is then 2 times 3 to the minus third. We'll do one more to find the pattern here. Our third derivative is going to be negative 3 times that 2 times 1 times x to the minus fourth. And so when I plug in 3 here, I get negative 1 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 3 to the minus 4th. So from this here, we can figure out a pattern. And we see, first of all, we're getting alternating signs on these derivatives, and more importantly, alternating signs over here as well. We're going to figure out an expression here for f n plugging in 3. And so we see we're going to get alternating signs, and then negative ones come on the first, third, fifth, and so on, the odd derivatives. So we'll see here a negative 1 to the n, because when I plug in n equals 0, I get no negative sign, so I get the positive version. And for n equals 1, the first derivative, I'm going to get a negative sign. That pattern continues. Now in front of this, we also see that I'm going to have a coefficient here that ends up being n factorial. How do I know that? Well, I had a negative 1, so a 1 for 1 factorial. When I bring down this 2, I get 2 times 1, or 2 factorial. When I bring down the 3, now on the x side over here, I'm going to see 3 times 2 is 1 or 3 factorial. My fourth derivative, I'll bring down this 4 and get 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, 4 factorial, and that pattern will continue. And so I'll see here an n factorial, and we can see over here on the end, I will get 3 to the power of negative n plus 1, because for the 0th derivative, I get minus 1, for the first, I get minus 2, for the second, I get minus 3. So it's going to be 3 to the negative n plus 1. So this means that our term going into our Taylor series of f n of 3 over n factorial is just negative 1 to the n times 3 to the negative n plus 1, or negative 1 to the n over 3 to the n plus 1. This means that we can write our Taylor series now as the sum n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n over 3 to the n plus 1 times x minus 3 to the n. Now the problem here did not ask for interval convergence, but you could use ratio test to figure that out just the same. And you would get that the convergence here via normal power series analysis is on 0 to 6. And it makes sense that this should not converge at 0 because at 0 the function is 1 over x and the function is not defined there. So that's how you can go through using derivatives to find a Taylor series. For this problem though, there is a different approach that will also work, and that involves a more tricky manipulation of the function that we have. So I want to get a power series that is centered around three. So I want to write one over x as a series in terms of powers of x minus three. Now if I had something like just 1 over 1 minus x minus 3. Our normal tricks for power series tells us we can write this as the sum n from 0 to infinity of x minus 3 to the n. That's a good start because it has the right terms in it. 
So I want to use that idea to rewrite this in a way that looks something like this so I can then get the right series out of it. So I can rewrite 1 over x as 1 over x minus 3 plus 3 or 1 over 3 plus x minus 3. And I can move a 3 out of the bottom to write this as 1 third times 1 over 1 plus x minus 3 over 3. By our normal power series tricks, we know this is 1 over 1 minus u goes to sum of u to the n. So this will become taking our u as negative x minus 3 over 3. I will get that this I can write as 1 third sum n from 0 to infinity of negative x minus 3 over 3 all to the n. And if you rearrange and combine terms here, this ends up matching exactly the expression that we have up here for the series. So either method works, they are both valid. One goes through the derivatives and the Taylor series approach. The other is a manipulation into power series. And they give us the exact same result because every function will only have one power series expansion of this form. So either we should have the same answer for this kind of problem about the Taylor series of this function.